Let me just steal the wheat right from in front of you, and then I'll trade it to you for money. <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> Here's my emeralds. Oh no, bad omen. Ah. What is up, guys? Welcome back. We are on our way to the first of our two treasure maps. But this world just cannot wait, and it has presented us with a third sunken ship. So I'm going to head down here, figure out what is being lit up down here. Oh, yo, it's an abandoned ocean ruins. There's sea lanterns here. Oh, yo, awesome. I'm actually going to totally steal these. Uh, I'm going to drown if I stay down here. Whoa. Oh, my God. You need silk touch. Oh. Okay, I'm going to just get out of here. This is a pro hack right here. <laughs> I need to regain my... Uh, breathing underwater. Wow, this thing is buried deep in here. I don't even know if there's a chest. Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, I'm running out of air too fast. This might be something to conquer another day. All right, I'm gonna regain my breath, get out of here, go to the ship, where I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find a third buried treasure map. All right, let's conquer this ship. Oh. Oh, it is a drowned. Okay, I was like, I swear that's a drowned. Oh, hey, there's a chest right there. Oh my goodness, is that where the chest was the whole time? Oh, snap. Is this the ship or the buried ruins? There we go, buried treasure map. And we'll leave that run flesh to be. Goodness, it is getting dark. I think I might go back to my base and sleep it off after I grab this last little bit of treasure. Ooh, yo, is this the ocean monument? Oh, buried treasure map again. Eh, yeah, stone axe. All right, let's head back and go to sleep real quick, and then we will come back to this buried treasure. All right, we're back. We survived the night, and we are already on the trail. Actually, we're really close to our house right here. But what I just found out is that two of these maps are identical. <laughs> what a sham. Anyway, I think we're about to roll up on one of these treasures already, because this one is actually really close to my base. I guess the other one is going to be more westward, but this one is right around the corner here. I think it's actually going to be buried in the sand over here. Oh my goodness, is that already another? Is that a ship over there? Oh, I think it is. I actually got Optifine, as you can probably tell from the last clip. Uh, let's go right here. This is where the buried treasure is going to be. Oh my goodness, finally. Can't get much more on top of it than that. I was about to keep saying, Woo! I hope this is worth it. Oh my goodness. I literally had to destroy almost this entire beach to find this treasure. I don't know if you guys know this, but these wandering traders are insanely annoying. This guy has been bugging me day and night all the time, running around my base, jumping on all my crops. It has been absolutely crazy annoying. Well, we are on our way west, and I have slowly been tracking our biomes and filling up our little Excel spreadsheet because we need to get all of these biomes for the for adventuring time eventually. I have been heading west for a pretty long while now, and I'm still nowhere close to this uh, map opening. I think I'm going to just jump back in this river because the river is still kind of headed west. You know what I just realized would be probably a much better way to travel to this treasure, which I may just end up doing, is there is a saddle waiting at my base to be put on my very first horse, and I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing because I'm not even close to this spot yet. This birch forest looks like it goes on forever. So I'm going to head back to base. We will come back later. Once we have a horse, we can traverse the landscape a little bit quicker and uh, just keep looking for treasure that way. But I think for now we're pretty good on the treasure hunting. Now I have some plans for the rest of this episode. So what I have planned for this episode, if you didn't notice, at the la end of the last episode, I actually found 
a tiny little village. Well, <laughs> it was a pretty big village and a pillager spawner right next to it. So I want to go and check those out. There's, I think, an achievement for trading with a villager. There's an achievement for um, killing a pillager with its own bow, crossbow, and all kind of other stuff. So I want to go over there, tackle those advancements, and actually bring some villagers back because I have some ideas for an iron farm, for a villager book farm, and for a couple of other things that I'm going to start. Now, I did watch a video recently where they made some crazy raid farm that literally, like, clears the whole raid in, like, under a minute. And then you can kill the raid and instantly get hundreds of totems of undying. Which I think is pretty overpowered. Obviously, I'm not really ready to build one like that yet. But I think for now, if I could just find a, uh, a good spot to farm raids and then get a totem of undying, that's actually an advancement as well as using one. And I don't know that I would just be like... I got one, let's die right away, um, but maybe wait for a while and then use it, or wait until I actually do die and then use it then, uh, when it would actually be useful. I'm going to go over, see if I can remember where that village and pillager outpost is, and we're going to go check them out, try and trade with a villager, kill a pillager with a bow, and check out the other advancements that are involved with that. Before I head to that village, I did actually remember this time that I have a horse to tame. What? Oh, give him apples back. So I think I will take you. How do you like these apples? Do you like apples? Oh goodness, he ate those up fast. Come on. Yes! <laughs> oh, look at that, best friends forever. I didn't realize that that was an advancement. So another thing I wanted to do that I didn't uh, actually do last episode because I didn't think about it, but I'm going back to the ship to actually take and eat the poisonous potatoes. So if you're wondering what this pillar is here, I've actually marked out the coordinates for what is going to be my main base in this area here. Essentially what I'd like to do is get four quad beacons and put them all around my base so I can surround myself with beacon effects pretty much constantly. With those four beacons it'll take up this amount of space. So there's a there's a sugarcane pillar at each corner. There we go. Poisonous potato. We'll eat this right now. So that is one of the foods. Another food off the list. And we'll, let's go back to our horse friend and ride off to the village. Oh my goodness, there's actually two wandering traders hurrying around my village. A horn, coral block, green dye, cactus, melon seeds. Useless! Okay, I don't exactly remember where this village is, but I know it was somewhere in the savanna biome because it was definitely a savanna village. So let's search around here, and if I do get too lost, I'll go ahead and find those coordinates that I had on yesterday's video. <laughs> on last week's video. Hey, there it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is awful. I think this is a part of the village. How am how I in the first place? This village is actually preventing me from getting into it. <laughs> Fantastic defenses. Ah, here we are. Look at that. Alright, I wonder if any of these are beetroot seeds. I want to keep you here. If I plant beetroot seeds, I think that is the last thing I need to plant besides a nether wart. Look at that. There's some hay for you. Go ahead and eat that hay. Okay, I don't see any beets planted here necessarily. This is a crazy cool looking village though. I love it. Leet! Oh, another saddle, I'll take that. Acacia sapling. I think I already have some of that. Oh dang, stockpiling melons. Oh yo, this is cool. Using the glazed terracotta for the houses and stuff. Double doors, a grindstone. Man, this is cool. This is so spread out. Where's all my villagers at? Oh, hey guys. Let me see if I can get a trade with a villager. Do you guys have jobs? <laughs> you guys don't have any jobs. Get a job, losers. I love how there's like stuff in every single house. Like this is crazy cool. I have not seen like a true 114 village and this is definitely it. Well, it looks like nighttime is falling, so I'm gonna need to find one of these homes, steal a bed from them. Oh no, you can't even get into this. Oh, whoops, that guy definitely just jacked that bed for me. Alright, this bed looks open, and I think it is nighttime since he was just able to go to sleep. There we go, we'll go to sleep. I may need to craft a, uh, a workbench 
for one of these guys to trade with me because I don't think any of them have workstations. Oh, is there even an iron golem down here? What's up, dude? I have saved you. Be free, my villagers! <laughs> oh, whoa, there's a brewing stand in here. I did not even know that villagers could brew. <gasps> oh, yes, a cat. Oh, goodness. How do I tame a cat? I need a fish. Okay, hold on. Let me let me try and focus here because there's so many advancements running through my head. Oh, here's my farmer. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Here's a farmer. I want to trade with you, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Let me put this back down. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, wait. Diamond for bread. Carrots for emerald. Do you have any carrots with you? There's not even any carrots here. How am I supposed to get carrots? Ah, I don't have any emeralds. I don't know how to trade with these guys. Oh, wow, there's that pillager outpost right over there. That is really, really close. Wow. All right, well, I need some kind of way to get these guys back to my base, and I don't know what it's going to be yet. But once I get them back, I'm definitely going to be abusing their mechanics, building some farms, and whatever else I can think of. Okay, here's what I've done is I've stolen a salmon out of a bucket, now I should be able to get raw salmon. There we go. Die, die, die. Oh no. Okay, okay. <laughs> Got him back in my bucket. Hopefully he's not too close to water next time. I'm gonna try and tame this cat, that way I get one breed of cat that's been tamed. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see if this salmon will take to this cat, or this cat will take to this salmon. Where did little kitty cat go? Oh, oh, I just heard it meow. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. No, come here, come here, come here. Kitty, kitty. I have a salmon for you. Oh, okay, wow, I finally caught him. I guess he doesn't like salmon. Oof, well, we might try to get a different fish if I'm going to hang out here for a long time. I think that cat's going to be the only one around here. Oh, so I think what happened here is these are supposed to be little tiny farms, but the water spawned like this and just washed out the entire farm. So really, they should have some dirt right around here to stop this from spreading. That way their farm actually works like a farm. Man, this village is really broken, but I'm glad there's still live villagers here so I can actually take them away. <laughs> My plan is to create another composter and then create a farmer with that composter and I will try and trade with him or break his trades until he's happy with trading me. There's a composter. Let's go see if we can turn one of these nitwits into a farmer. What's up, dude? Hey, here you go. Farm it up! What's up? Oh, yes. Okay, he'll take wheat or potatoes. Oh, no. Okay, okay. How do I get wheat? Well, I have 17 wheats right now. Is there any? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I can break this down. I can break this down. Don't mind me. I'm just stealing all your wheat so I can steal your emeralds. <laughs> oh, wow. Minecraft is certainly a game of logic. Let me just steal the wheat right from in front of you, and then I'll trade it to you for money. <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> Here's my emeralds. Okay. That should be enough to create quite a lot of wheat. Oh, yo. Wandering Trader's here. All right. Is trade with the Wandering Trader also an advancement? Because... I think, oh, oh, no, 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 where's my other farmer? Where's my other farmer? Who's getting bullied by the wandering trader, man? Man, this wandering trader is bullying all of my friends here. There you are. Hello. Please take my wheat. Yes, all right, there's my achievement. What a deal. Let me see if trading with this guy gets us an achievement as well, because I think it will. Uh, let's just buy something that's cheap. Light blue dye. Oh, gunpowder, why not? Alright. Uh, clearly not an achievement. But new recipes unlocked. Okay, so trading with a villager was an achievement. What else can I do to a villager for an achievement? Advancement, I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> oh, I'll never know. Okay, okay. Well, shoot a crossbow, give a pillager, so kill a pillager with a crossbow. Oh, yo, 20 biomes out of 42 already. I have no clue what 20 biomes those are. I've been trying to track, but I'm not sure. Okay, so it looks like the, <laughs> the next thing we want to do is actually head over to this pillager outpost and steal one of their crossbows and kill them with it. Let me actually get out my sword for this. 
How close to nighttime are we? I don't want to fight mobs and pillagers at the same time. Ah, you know what? Actually, let's grab our horse because that will traverse much faster. Where'd you go? There you go. Didn't run away even though I took all the hay bales. Oh my goodness, where'd it go? There we go. Okay, so eating a rabbit meat is actually one of the achievements because you have to eat everything, whether it's edible or not. So I need one more rabbit so I can eat cooked rabbit. And I'm sure I have to breed rabbits as well, but I don't know how to do that right now. I will worry about breeding later. For now, I'm just trying to collect food. Slowly collecting all of the foods possible. I think probably the hardest thing to find is going to be that enchanted golden apple. Unless I stumble into a temple that has it, or an or a ocean monument or whatever. Um, all those places are obviously going to have treasure with them, but I don't know how many of them will actually have good treasure. Come on, come on. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to leave my little horsey here. What are we still armored up? Pretty good. No, no enchantments yet, but soon enough we will have enchantments. So I want to go over, find one of these less uh, imposing pillagers, get him over here with his crossbow. Look at that. Oh, he did not drop a crossbow. Wow, this thing is like tall and cool. Okay. Not much loot in there. Actually, there's carrots and potatoes in there, which is great because I can actually steal those and start a farm with them. Oh, wow. Okay, those guys are pretty dangerous to tangle with. Okay, I'm going to stay away. Oh, no. Bad omen. Ah. I'm going to die. I'm going to die for sure. Okay. Oh, my God. All I wanted to do was steal a crossbow from a pillager and kill him with it. <laughs> and this is what I get for it. I slept in my bed in the middle of the desert and now I'm running all the way back. I think if I go over this hill and down to this water down here, I can get there a little quicker. Uh, I'm not really sure, but hopefully I can run over there and get it, my stuff back before it all despawns. And I'm sure that nightfall is coming because of course it probably is. Funny enough, spawning from the nether back to my original portal was how I found this area over here. And it has a little bit of buried treasure, but I don't really have time for that right now because I need to get back to my stuff as soon as possible. Right over here is the savannah biome that has the pillager outpost and the uh, village in it. I think if I just go up this river here, I'll find it pretty quickly because that's how I found it last night. And when I say last night, I mean last week because I don't know what time I recorded these episodes at. Oh, there's my village right there. Meaning the pillager outpost is just beyond this desert. Here we go, here we go. Okay, whoa. There's all my things. Looks like they are blocked from getting up here, which is great. You know what would have been a real great thing to bring up here would be a bow so that I could kill them from long distance. <laughs> Let's take my bed and set my spawn at a pillager outpost, which is a solid idea. All right, looks like I've trapped at least one of them. Oh boy. All right, these guys are bunching up really badly. Oh my gosh, they're continuously spawning and coming up here to kill me. I don't know how to escape, <laughs> please help me. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty tricky situation we got going on here. Haha! -ha. Alright, I've done it. Let's see if I can't drop a bucket of water, jump down into it, and bail on this thing. I hear a lot of villagers right down here. Yes! Haha! -ha -ha. There we go. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's not right. That's not right. Ah, man. Okay, I need to kill one of them with their own weapon, which that's now useless. Is that a, a wandering traitor in there? I don't know who's in there. All right, I'm going to try and escape from this now. Yes, reload time. Thank goodness. Wow, they for sure did chase me a long way. Let's see if we can do this one last challenge. Gosh, this horse has a terrible jump. Okay, you stay here, horse. You stay safe. We are going to go and fight a pillager down to his last breath and then hit him with his own crossbow. Okay, so that guy took three hits. That guy took two hits. Perfect. Well, now I have two crossbows to try and kill him with. So let me see if I can lure a pillager over here. Wow. 
Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. We have done it. We've gotten all of our achievements for the day. Oh, oh my goodness. That took so long. I spent so long trapped in that pillager tower. Only died once. Got most of my XP back just from killing the pillagers and just trying to get them to get off my back. We have tamed a horse. We've got villagers to pat. We are going to get these villagers back to our base. We've got some trading to do. We've got some iron farming to do. And we got some more achievements to be getting. <laughs> Coming soon, guys. We're going to be doing some crazy stuff with these villagers now that we have them. I'm sure they haven't died because really no night creatures have spawned at all since I've been over here. I've been sleeping in this little gray bed that I made ever since. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. If you like the content, go ahead and leave a subscribe, leave a like, because I'm going to keep making it. We're going to do more of this stuff, um, continue doing it. I mean, pretty much as long as I'm able to. We've got carrots and potatoes to make those farms. The one thing I don't have is beetroot which is crazy because that is the lamest seed in the world but i'm sure that eventually one of these farmers i can just keep making farmers to trade until i find beetroot or maybe one of these guys will have it when they come upon me anyway guys i'll see you guys next time uh come on back for more <laughs> come on back for more advancement quests yeah, let's go back 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 back